probably just get a tall iced mocha. Can I try the white chocolate one? The butterscotch white chocolate or the raspberry white chocolate? Oh, butterscotch, please. Butterscotch, awesome. Would you like a happy dip? Um, no, that's okay. Okay, no worries. We had a tall iced mocha and then the butterscotch white chocolate. Awesome, thank you. Good, thank you. up my points on my car. Yeah, oh okay. So, thank you so much. Thank you. Have awesome. Thanks lovely. Hey guys, so I'm just sitting in my car. I've just pulled into the nearest car park where it's actually kind of like it's like my comfort car park where I kind of like to chill and just like wait around until a job comes through on Uber Eats. I've got lots of editing done. I got a whole nother day worth of footage edited and got music, got some vlog music overlaying over the top of the footage. Did a lot of rough cuts. I'm a little bit tired, but I'm going to put that down to last night's late night shift and also a really heavy. Um, workout this morning which I have no regrets. I also booked myself in to get my hair done in two days on Thursday I think. Just taking it slow and easy. It's pretty blonde on the ends and then it's kind of more orangey up here in my mid lengths and then for about I think there's like two and a half inches there full of just pure regrowth, which I don't love. Like my, my grays are really visible. I've been doing a lot of treatments and I've just been really looking after my hair, only washing it once a week, letting all the natural oils get through to my scalp. So it's like not really damaged. I only use a I only use a straightening iron like once a week. Anything after that, I just brush it normally. I don't want to like damage my hair um, so i booked in with another hairdresser that i have been to before who is local to me and i've just instead of booking a balayage i've booked in to get a full head of foils yeah i'm pretty excited to go a bit blonder um but yeah it'll be so good once it's more like ashy blonde all over rather than this dark color i know it was good for a while while we we're getting my hair blonder but now i want it like really light all over with maybe like a little bit of um like shadow on my roots so it's not so full on but yeah we'll see how we go obviously i'll take you guys along with me to the appointment Good morning guys, it is now Wednesday. Last night I did do Uber Eats delivering. I worked until about midnight, so I left early. I got food, I got a coffee from Zarafa's and a muffin with my Z card, so good. And I sat there eating for a little bit while catching up, while catching up on some YouTube videos. And I clicked my app on and it was go time so basically from 5 30 onwards till midnight i made about 156 dollars i nailed it so i got the amount that i've needed for my bills and i'm hoping to work today or tonight because i ended up booking in that hair salon appointment for tomorrow so i want to make sure i've got enough money for that because i really 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 am looking forward to getting this um, regrowth done. I'm really looking forward to that tomorrow because I'm really needing some pampering. I'm also hoping that they'll give me a really decent head massage. Where bossy boy just always knows when I'm not feeling my best because he always sits right next to me when I'm feeling sick. I was going to take you guys for a walk this morning but I'm just feeling so shit guys. I'm so sorry boss. You're the best dog ever. Yes. You're the best dog. My best friend. Baby boy. He just knows. Like, how do they know? Maybe I might make myself a coffee and have a shower just so I feel like more like myself. Some editing done, and then I'm thinking about going driving around midday or dinner time so I don't have to work really late tonight. I should have enough for my hair appointment tomorrow. And yeah, that's kind of like my day planned. I honestly would prefer it if I could just stay in bed all day, but yeah, it's 
not gonna happen. Obviously, like if I'm not feeling well at any stage, I'll come home and just rest up. Ooh, kookaburras. How cool is that, boss? He's looking up at the trees, trying to figure out where the noise is coming from. If I'm not feeling better at any stage today, I'm obviously just gonna come home and rest it off go to sleep and just cancel the hair appointment but I really want to get my hair done and I just feel like I deserve it and sometimes a girl just needs a pamper. the best shower on earth i'm pretty sure i was in there for like 15 minutes which is disgusting because you know water wastage the panadol had a shower i actually took my coffee in with me in the shower with the silicon lid on and just had it up on the little mini shampoo shelf and just kept sipping on it every now and again shaved my armpits shaved my legs best feeling of my life honestly feel like i was hit by a bus this morning like i felt like i was hungover but i hadn't drunk anything the night before like wow so yeah i'm just gonna start the car go drive to my usual little cozy car park spot where i normally pick up jobs from and yeah we're gonna start delivering some food I swear to God, the girl at my local corner store looks very similar to Chloe Moretz. So, I've just pulled up just at the corner store and I quickly ducked in and got some Turkish bread, some strepsils, I got some coconut water because that's really hydrating. I got Jamie his favorite new Dorito flavored chips. I can't remember what they're called, but they're kind of like the Mexicanas, but a little bit like I don't know, like they're called Tahitian something. So it's like a different spicy flavor. I got myself a little Kit Kat. What else? Oh, and I got a bag of popcorn. I didn't have any more deliveries for the evening. I tried to continue till 5.30. I kind of hung around for half an hour just scrolling on my phone. Thing came through. So for the total today, I made, was it 114 or something? Let me just quickly find it. Worked from midday until 5.30 and I made $114.57 and I completed 10 trips and that was the, pretty much the end of my fuel tank. So I worked Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, today's Wednesday night. So that's four days worth of do, delivering Uber Eats and I believe I put in $30, no $40, $40 I think. So that's lasted four nights worth of delivering Uber Eats. Um, and I made, how much have I made this week so far? $350.95. So yeah, like, and that's covered my car repayment, my portion of the mortgage, um, my first installment of car insurance that came out. I was trying to make a little bit extra so I could go to the hairdressers tomorrow. So I still want to like put an extra $50 in there. I think I've got 50 bucks in cash at home. I'm not sure. If I don't, I might do some delivering tomorrow. Just put 30 bucks in just to get me going if I need to just get around tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's how much I've earned today. $114. And I'm updating. Ooh. Oh, I got a dollar tip. That's cool. A lot of the times when you're on Uber Eats, um, a lot of the tips won't come through till later because they send it to the app and the customer's email and sometimes they just don't want to like bother tipping or like commenting or rating straight away they just want to eat their food um so they'll usually like tip later this is from a job that i did way earlier in um runaway bay i'm gonna go home now take all our goodies and we're gonna cook some dinner and watch the office and yeah i will catch up with you guys later i'm not sure if i'll go out driving again later tonight i am feeling a slightly like more energetic and a lot better um but I'm thinking maybe I should just stay home and relax and just like, you know, recoup. Head home now and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit.
morning guys it is now thursday morning welcome to the chaos <laughs> um yeah i've been up since around five o'clock jamie got up early um this morning and was making his lunches he just cannot help but start making conversation with me even though he knows well and truly that i am trying to sleep but yeah he had me up at 5 30 he was making his lunches, chatting away, and then he went to work, and I was like, well, I can't get back to sleep now, can I? Like a really chill night last night, which was good. I didn't have to work because I worked all afternoon, as you guys would have seen. Fed the dogs this morning. He's just sleeping on the lounge, the lounge in my office in front of me. And your baby. Living his best life. Really just, yeah. That's how we're feeling right now. A lot of the time he sleeps with his eyes open and it's super creepy but you kind of get used to it so this morning i fed the dogs had a coffee had some breakfast and pretty much just started editing straight away like with the goal in mind that i'm going to get this vlog up today or tonight one or the other and i'm on the last couple of clips on the saturday i don't know why but on in this vlog i filmed from monday to saturday go me like that's awesome but pfft, so much editing why did i do that yeah obviously i was just really excited to pick up the camera that week and yeah i'm gonna get this one up i do have to i have another collaboration coming up with a with another company that I've worked with before. Kind of exciting. And obviously they really like the content that I produce. So they want to work with me again. And I'm really excited for the products that I receive in exchange for, you know, the collaboration that I'll be putting out on YouTube and Instagram. And I'm kind of, I have like a little idea for this one that I want to, um, that I want to work on um, because I kind of get to create the product um, which is cute and after that I need to go to the bank I've got some cash I've got some cash stashed away in my purse like a lot of coins and I know that with Commonwealth you can bank like most of your coins so I'm going to go to the Commonwealth bank at I think maybe Westfield near me there's two Westfields near me, but I, there's one I like to go to because there's like usually no people waiting in there. Bank all the coins, just get rid of them all, put them all in the bank. Duck into Coles real quick. Gonna come back, change the bed sheets, do a quick vacuum, tidy the house. I cleaned up the kitchen this morning when Jamie left just because he left so much mess everywhere in the kitchen. He was in such a frazzle. He was so frazzled making his lunches this morning. I told him to make them last night and I know like sometimes things get soggy in sandwiches the night before, but... I swear to God, it's way less stressful if you just make a lunch that you don't have to make on the morning of your work day. It just, yeah, does it every time, leaves things to the last minute. Cleaned up the kitchen this morning, um, and that's kind of all I want to do today because I have my hair appointment at 4.30. Exciting. Hopefully we can achieve the color that I'm going for, like the, the level of blondness. This, this is just not it. Here we are finally, finally... Finally exporting now to my hard drive and then we'll upload and schedule it to YouTube. I'm gonna hop downstairs now, make myself something to eat while this is loading and I will catch up with you guys in a bit. I've been to the bank, I just deposited my notes but for some reason one of the ATMs um, was out of order, the one that takes all the coins. So I'm so annoyed. I have this full, like, heavy ass envelope full of coins that I couldn't bank. I might try and bank it at another bank on the way home and just see if that's possible. That's good. I've got an extra 50 bucks in there. I feel like every woman knows what this is, what this is like when I say this, but I just never know. Even though there's a price list when booking to get my hair done, and I'm specifically asking for something, I always come out spending like 30 to $40 more either on an extra service that was added in or provided during like the appointment or like a hair product or something like that. There's no hate towards hairdressers when I say that. I love that, but yeah, just I always like to be prepared and make sure I've got the extra money to save myself the embarrassment and be like, oh, I didn't know you were adding that in. Like, I can't afford that. So extra 50 bucks in there, so that means I've got 160 for the appointment plus I paid a $50 booking deposit so that comes off the total of whatever I pay That's like $210 towards my hair. I think she said that should be a rat right? It was like 130 something for a full head. I said I have long hair um, Plus it was like $27 Towards um, a lighter color developer to go over my mid 
length areas. I think that's like 180 something, so that should cover it, right? Um, I just pulled up a little bit early, so I just went and got um, an iced coffee at the Macca's next door. I totally forgot that Macca's do really good iced coffees. I'm gonna get one. Um, I was gonna get one at Zarafa's because I do have quite a lot of points, a lot of dollar points still, and I only used, I think, five or six dollars of it and I have like eighteen dollars combined of my Zarafa's points but the traffic is just so hectic today so I've got 15 minutes until my appointment oh that's good it's something unusual though I was driving to the hair salon just now from the bank I was sitting behind a car and it was like a little golf polo or whatever and it had a sticker on the back kind of like an uber sticker but it was called she bar and I looked it up and apparently it's kind of like Ubers, but women only. So it's women only drivers, um, women passengers. It's for, it's like a little, um, little female community of Uber drivers, basically. But I guess that like, that's something to consider. Like if you guys are feeling unsafe getting an Uber or you just want to feel like more comfortable in the presence of a female driver rather than a male driver. I'm not sexist or anything like that, but yeah, I can understand sometimes how how women feel um, hopping in the backseat of an Uber. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I was thinking about that and I was like, should I sign up to be a driver? Like I'm already doing Uber Eats. I'm not doing Uber driving. I'm not sure if I want to. Mm. That was so loud. Something to think about. I'm just gonna answer this message that I just got for work and then I'm gonna head into my appointment and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Hey guys, it is so much later, but I am so blonde. Oh my gosh. Um, so you can probably see that my hair is like really wet. I told her not to blow dry it and straighten it, which was, she was a little bit bummed about because she took a before photo and it was such a huge transformation. So. I'm just not blow drying my hair at the moment because I'm trying to avoid like any damage or heat. Um, I only blow dry and straighten it like once a week. So I'll let this dry tonight. I'll put some oil in the ends, I think, because she didn't put any product in at the ends. She did do like a little treatment at, at the basin. I really clicked with this hairdresser here as well. Like we have a lot in common, um, lived in the same areas have gone through the same life experiences and yeah just feel like we really clicked which was really rare for me like normally when I'm just getting my hair done I just sit there quietly and get my hair done and we non-stop chatted the entire time like I don't think we both came up for air like once um but yeah can't wait to see what it looks like when it's dry it is now 704 and I'm not sure whether I should just get dinner on the way home. Like, should I get Guzman and Gomez? But thinking maybe I might. Bring Jamie first and see what he wants. I'll see if he wants any. If he wants anything from Guzman and Gomez or the corner store, I might grab some stuff for him. Um, and then was gonna pop into Kmart, but I won't. I won't. I just wanted to kindly thank one of today's sponsors, The Collagen Co. Collagen Co. provide many products on their website, but primarily one of the main products that they do sell are collagen sachets. If you guys don't know what collagen does, they are peptides that you can get and buy them in tablet form, liquid form. And in this case, with The Collagen Co., you can get them in sachets. With the package that they sent me, I was absolutely blown away by the size of the box that they sent me. I did not know I was gonna be receiving this many products. First of all, love how many products they sent me because with these type of products in particular, like most of the time you won't know something is working until you've done like a full 30 day cycle, especially with the female reproductive system and our hormones, everything that's pumping through our body right now, you don't know what's gonna work within a day or two. Like we've got so many other things going on in our lives. Like some of us might be on contraception, new skincare routine, be trialing new hair care products, might be getting your nails done regularly, experimenting with filler or Botox. So I think it's a good indication to 
trial a new product for at least a month or so before you can make that initial decision as to whether it's doing something or not. I was very, very excited to see that they sent me this much product because then I could actually say, yeah, I tried that for a month or two. The active ingredients are bioactive collagen peptides and they are vitamin C, sodium hyaluronic acid, which you guys know and you'll probably see is heavily promoted in a lot of beauty products these days, and biotin, which is vitamin B7, which is really good for your skin, hair, and nails. It is gluten and dairy free, which they absolutely nail. I feel like ever since I've been taking this, it has made a huge difference in my whole skincare, health, overall being routine. Because they taste so good, you like honestly want to have one every day. Especially this strawberry watermelon flavor. So the flavors they gave me are passion mango, which is this orange one here. Strawberry watermelon. And then this one is unflavored, which I thought I would never use, but I realized because after tasting these two, I was like, why would I have the unflavored? But if you guys notice in my morning routine, I do a workout and then I have my protein with my muesli and I put a bit of peanut butter in my protein muesli. I honestly just dump the sachet in with my protein shake and then I shake it up. It doesn't change any of the flavoring with my protein shake. It doesn't change the texture or the thickness of my protein shake. Obviously, like just it nails it. There's, I can't fall to that. So at least I know I'm getting it in with my daily routine, but these two have been my favorite so far. I've noticed that I'll have my protein muesli and then afterwards to get me to drink more water, it's like first world problems, but I'm really slack at drinking water in the morning. Get a huge two liter bottle. I mix this in with it. I give it a good shake or a stir and it just encourages me to drink it so much more. It is so, so yummy. They definitely nail both of these flavors. absolutely love this one to put in my protein shakes. I do know that they're doing some combo deals at the moment. So if you guys want to get a few flavors, definitely go check out their website. If you guys want to make any purchases, I will be leaving my discount code and the link to the website in the description box below. Thank you again, Collagen Co. for sponsoring this portion of the vlog. Thank you again so much, guys, for listening. Let's Let's get back to the vlog. Morning guys, it is now Friday. TGIF, does anyone else feel me? I'm feeling so much better today. No headache this morning. So yeah, that's all good. Um, hello. <laughs> Who's Miss Blonde? So cool. Not like full ashy blonde yet, but. Like if you look in the light, yeah, you can see in the light. It's pretty blonde compared to what it was. So happy. Honestly, so stoked. Can't wait to see what it looks like when I do my makeup this afternoon. Sorry, I'm just hurling my hair around. Does anyone else like touch their hair a lot after they've got it done? Because same. Last night when I got home, I didn't get takeout. There was Alfredo pastas, Alfredo pasta packets in the cupboard. So I just ended up making one of those and we heated up a bag of popcorn together and watched The Office. Funny last night, the episode, I'm going to admit, even though it didn't have Michael Scott in it, we're like, we're pissing ourselves. We watched that and then we went to bed. This morning I woke up and looked at my YouTube and realized that when I uploaded my video yesterday, it still didn't upload in 1080p. So I'm just redoing that. I just re-clicked it again and uploaded it again. That's done. I'm going to make a thumbnail, make sure all my descriptions and my keywords and my title is done, my hashtags, and then I'll upload it for good on YouTube. Take a couple snips from that, make a little sneak peek preview video. I'm going to upload that to Canva, make it look pretty. Anyways, I'm going to have my coffee. Um, work out this uploading thing and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Oh my god, so I'm the worst vlogger ever, but it's been like a whole day of me cleaning up, watching TV, doing the dishes, and then all of a sudden it's like time to go. I've got to go for work. Um, I've got to go to work, so I'm just halfway through getting ready. I'm just up to, I've done like my base with my foundation and I'm just doing my eyebrows now. I have my ring light set up in here because there's literally no lighting. <laughs> in my room where I get ready. Just gonna do my makeup now. You guys are currently sitting on an ink cartridge. That'll do, donkey. I think I'm ready. Oh, I did that in record time. Okay. 
Hopefully this eyelash stays on because it didn't feel so good. Got my bag packed and yeah, we'll see how we go. I made it. Guys, it's so much later. The job was good. I got there 40 minutes late. I cannot believe that. I'm so disappointed in myself, but also traffic what can you do about it if i don't have any more jobs coming through i'm just gonna head home take off my makeup and go to bed honestly because it's 11 o'clock and it's pretty late so yeah if i don't get any more work i will see you guys in the morning